Hey colors out there, this is Nathan. I'm uh, just going to do a quick uh, warm-up piece. I found this piece uh, on DeviantArt. It's by amazing artist Marcio Takara. And uh, I'll put a link to his DeviantArt in the description, like I always do for artists that I use for my color videos. Um, he's been doing this thing lately with like some, some gray tone washes and stuff like that. It looks really, really uh, good. So it's going to kind of build off of that. What I have so far is I have just the regular background. And I have a layer underneath it just to kind of block out the uh, uh, Jean Grey figure. Uh, just kind of going to kind of use that as my flats, I guess. Um, I have that layer locked, so I just go. Ahead, I'm just going to do this one here like a uh, watercolor style. Uh, yeah, just kind of warm up uh, and get. To, Started on a, uh, a tutorial later on. Just want to get to the swing of things. Things always great. Like uh, a lot of artists, uh, you do like your stretches, your finger exercises. Uh, you know, just uh, mental warm ups. That's kind of what I'm, what I'm just doing here. Just kind of getting the swing of it, uh, waking up. So I'll start off uh, watercolors. Uh, if you're doing any kind of coloring, I highly suggest trying out watercolors. Uh, even if you're just sticking to the computer, it's always I think it's always important to get used to natural media. And you'll learn a lot more about colors, how the colors mix, uh, and just different techniques as well. Uh, with watercolors in particular, which you'll do, uh, you'll leave, like if you want a white spot, I mean they do have uh, white paint, I guess you'll use like afterwards, after you're already... Uh, uh, done coloring, go in and add your highlights. But I think for the more natural look, uh, when I color, I want like that watercolor look. I'll, I'll leave uh, the white spots for highlights. Kind of like when you're uh, coloring with markers as well. Let's kind of go in, building up my shadows. Starting off uh, again, since it's Mimicking a watercolor look, going working from light to dark. I'm just going in really quick, really dirty. It doesn't have to be uh, perfect. And I think it's one thing you'll find out from working in a lot of natural media is that it's it's not perfect. You know, you'll go in, you'll make some mistakes at everything. Uh, but it's all about how you come back and work those mistakes back in. Uh, works for skin tones. Give her some uh, lip color here. It's probably a little, a uh, little too dark. Throw some red in there. And uh, I'm just doing this all on one layer. Again, just kind of keep it as uh, natural looking as possible. And uh, these brushes that I have uh, that I'll be using for this um, so they're just, I wish I could tell you exactly where I got them from um, but yeah it was such a long while ago I always, I always look for look for brushes natural media brushes I'm pretty sure you could do a search on Google or whatever your search engine preference might be uh, just look for um, uh, you know, natural watercolor brushes, Photoshop, you know, whatever. And um, I'm sure you'll find a, a, a good amount of stuff. But uh, one thing I always like to do as well is like once I find, uh, once I find like a, uh, a nice brush, I'll always play with the, play with the settings, tweak them a little bit, make those brushes my own. So you got that. Um, let's go in the blues. Oops, bigger brush. There you go. Again, I'll kind of come back in a little bit for the highlights. 
but some of it to make it really pop. Let's go ahead and leave some white in there. Okay, let's work on the uh, yellow bits. We have a nice yellow color. Again, just kind of leaving some some whites where the highlights are going to be. Let's save that for the uh, the brightest spots. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Leave some white on the on the edge there for a little bit of rim light. Not really too concerned about going over. Uh, the colors, you can see a little bit of blue, you know, in this area right here. And it's a little bit of yellow spilling over here. And uh, that's just going to help sell, like, the watercolor look as well. You know, even though I'm, I'm doing this all in uh, Photoshop, you know, some people might just wonder, hey, you know, is that Photoshop? Or is it real watercolor? And that's kind of what we're, uh, what we're going for, you know, if you... If you're gonna do like a watercolor look, might as well try and make it look like it for reals. Um, let's go with a little bit orange mixed in that now to give it that golden look. I think we'll add a uh, nice little color for the uh, on the line art too. I think that'll help give it a more uh, natural drawn look. Then looking at the the gray tones looks kind of a little dead. We add a, uh, warm it up a little bit, add a little bit more life. I think it'll look nice. So I'm kind of going in a little bit with the the white right now. All right. Now the belt will be red, but I think we'll start off with a uh, an orangish color. So you can see a little bit of that, that yellow popping through right here and it looks really cool. Really natural looking. And then we'll do the same color for her her hair.
I'll just go over it really light first. So you want to, to pop out some of these highlights in her hair. shaping it. And I'll go in with the uh, darker, darker color. to help define some of these uh, the darker areas over here. I'm just following along with the uh, brush strokes that uh, Marcia had put down. I'll go back in with a little bit of red wash on top of it, kind of like how you would with, a, uh, with actual watercolors. I think we do that a little bit too, like on her nose. Mid cheeks, just really lightly. Now get that uh, skin tone back in a little bit on the cheeks. And let's get the red going back in the belt. A little bit darker. So we've got most of our rendering done now. Um, I have a, another, so this is what this watercolor brush looks like. Oops, let me do a new layer so you can see it. So and then the more pressure I put on um, the more I go over, the darker that gets. Uh, and then I have another one. Let me see. I think it's this one. Yeah, it has a little bit more of a pointed tip. But you can still see that watercolor texture of the paper coming through it. So I'm gonna use that right now to bring in uh, uh, some more of these white highlights. Almost like uh, using a colored pencil or something. Alright, so now we got the white going in. Maybe we'll do one of these little crazy little guys here. Yeah, I think that works. Um, let's see, next. Let me go ahead and merge that down. Uh, next, I will give it a kind of like a off color, yeah, a little bit lighter. 
That looks good. We'll go back to our other watercolor brush. There we go. Maybe we'll go a little bit darker around here. Just kind of add a little bit of texture to it, I think. Yeah, not uh, not trying to be precise at all. Just adding some uh, texture to this background here. Haven't decided if I like it yet. Maybe we'll just have it white. Cause I did like the way that that looked. Now if we do the background like a purplish. I like that color right there. Hmm. Light it up. You can tell like on a lot of my videos, I just a lot of trial and error all the time. I think it's uh, where you do a lot of your learning, just playing around with different things. Closer to you. Like that kind of really light halo going around her. You make it pop that a little bit more. Do a new layer on top, multiply. Go back to that other watercolor brush I was using before. Maybe we'll get like this bright pink. See what that looks like, a little halo around there. So I can tell that pink isn't working out, but I'm going to keep on doing it anyway because I do it on a separate layer so I can adjust it in a little bit. Now I can find something I do like. I already noticed too, um, need to add more. Highlights in her hair. Note the hair doesn't have to be exact. Just kind of roughly sketching that in. All right, so we didn't like that. Take it off and multiply. I think that works. I think what we'll do though is I'll take this peach color and I'll bring it back out. We'll just have that purple on top of it. I think that'll look nice. Again, it's all about trial and error, uh, especially when you're uh, when you're actually watercolor painting. Uh, oops, I get I grab the wrong color. There we go. Okay, now we're working.
Yeah, I think that looks good. Now with the, oh, before I forget. I'm gonna do this on a separate layer just in case I don't like it or I wanna redo it. Um, there we go. Let's get some highlights in her hair. I'll merge that down. Uh, for the line art, do like a dark red. Kind of digging that. Gives a color pencil type type of feel. Um, got some of the. You tell where it's not totally black. Um, I think what I'll do, go back to my watercolor brush. I'll pick this part where this blue is. Let's kind of go on. Oops. New layer. And kind of just fade that in. Work that in certain some areas, the shadows and whatnot. I think that'll look good. It'll blend in really nicely. Um, and oops, we want these guys up here to be a color. So pick the same type of magenta. Let's see if we can do this. Select these guys, and I'll put it on its own layer. Then I'll lock it, and then fill it with that color. And we can just do that a couple of times. And then for this bottom part, because now we have that on a couple different layers. What it's going to do is blocking out a lot of it. So we'll just go ahead and do a layer mask and cover up this part of the original drawing. So that's blocked out. So now we still have that color popping through and it looks really nice. Add a little bit, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of... There you go. I think I like that. And then... Uh, It's the Marcio's name. Add some red. I can't really tell the difference. That's fine. That's fine. We'll leave it. Um, yeah. So that's the uh, the finished piece. We'll just leave it at that. And um, well, I always say that's going to be that, but it never is, is it? Um, back to my detail watercolor brush. I just want to add a little bit of highlights on her eyes with some white, just to make them pop a little bit more. There, okay, for reals, that's it. We're done. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I um, uh, hope to see you guys soon. Uh, again, uh, thanks for everybody for taking the time to subscribe and like the videos. Helps me out a lot, and um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, you can check out more of my work at lemmage.deviantart.com. And I'll put a link in the description for that as well. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.